Hello, my name's Drew Morley and I work for Coventry City Council in neighbourhood management and I manage the community organisation support team. Hi, and I'm Nigel Clues, Assistant Director, Property Asset Management. Today I'm going to talk to Nigel about um, the property aspect of the asset transfer policy that Coventry City Council are developing, and in particular about a, um, when the policy was taken to scrutiny. Okay, yeah, I, I took the uh, report to scrutiny in July of last year, uh, prior to officers spending an excessive amount of time preparing a policy without member input. A lot of our audience won't know what a scrutiny board is. Can you tell us a little bit more about this? Okay. In Coventry, I think, in common with most local authorities, there is a scrutiny or oversight uh, form of committee uh, to look at decisions made by the council, to help with uh, policy development, uh, and to act as a sounding board uh, in, in the development of policies to, to aid uh, officers in presenting those back for approval at a later stage. So the main reason for taking the policy to scrutiny in early stage was to gain political buy-in and support? Yeah, that's right. Um, and we, we were really looking for sort of guidance on, on four main areas um, which could have been contentious on when we present the final report to members for uh, approval and endorsement. Can you tell us which of the four was debated most? Okay. The, the area that most interested members was the debate around tenure. Um, and a, a, a discussion between freehold and, and leasehold disposal. And why was this? Um, in, in essence it's about um, control of the asset uh, post-transfer. Um, members I think are, are, are rightly nervous about um, being seen to hand uh, public assets over at a discount. The, the very clear steer from members is um, that they wanted to ensure the asset was protected for community use and the most uh, appropriate way of doing that is through uh, a long leasehold interest which nonetheless doesn't prevent uh, a community organisation using that interest to raise grants or, or loans. Okay, so overall do you think that going to scrutiny board was a beneficial experience or did it just prolong the whole asset transfer process? Um, it, it's a, I would say it was a beneficial process. It, allowed us for probably about an hour and a half of uh, members time uh, into an area that we were formulating and where I said that there could well have been contentious issues so it was very beneficial um, and, and has helped us to, to frame the policy and talk to partners uh, along those lines. Excellent, thank you Nigel. And that concludes the first interview for Coventry City Council.